rapid application development rad model so that is another software development paradigm so rapid application development rad is a software development methodology that focusing on building applications in a very short amount of time and that's why the name of this this particular paradigm is rapid application development model so it is a high speed adaptation of the linear sequential model in which rapid development is achieved by using component based construction so you might be asking me what is a component so component can be a uh, say application which is a running application a component can be one package can be one say uh, activex control can be one applet can be one library can be one dll so these are the components so what will happen multiple teams will be working on non overlapping discrete components in parallel and they are actually following the sequential flow through this multiple different phases as if they are working in the waterfall model but multiple teams will be working on different components which will be later get in integrated to give the shape of the final software so that is a component based development is taking place is to take place in case of rad application model so core elements of rapid application development model so here we are having this business modeling data modeling process modeling and application generation testing and turnover and we are having multiple different rad tools so these are the set of rad tools which we are using in nowadays also we are using this rad tools we are using so whenever we can develop a software depending upon based on multiple different components then only this rad model can be applied so let us go for the rad strengths so what mainly gets reduced by using the rad model this if this is a question the answer is the reduced cycle time and improved productivity so it will improve the productivity because multiple teams can work on these components and how does customer involvement in the sdlc cycle help the customer is involved throughout the complete cycle minimizing the risk of not achieving customer satisfaction and the business needs so as customer is having a continuous participation in this development model so the risk is very low that ultimately the product which is going to get developed will be not in accordance with the customers recommend not in account in accordance with the customers expectation and the business needs now let us go for the rad weaknesses what is the risk associated with this model we know that risk means cost of failure so rad requires sufficient human resources to create the right number of rad teams as multiple teams will be working simultaneously in parallel so huge manpower is required here rad is not appropriate where technical risk is high if you don't not if i not confirm enough that this particular technology this particular technique will be the fruitful one where we are not having executed any kind of pilot project earlier in those cases this rad is very much risky what is the drawback of customer being involved in the development cycle the answer is developers and customers must be committed rapid fire activities in an abbreviated time frame in a certain time frame in a very short time frame this particular applications are to be developed now question is that when to use the rad model the answer is reasonably well known requirements user involved throughout the life cycle there only this rad model can be implemented project can be time boxed the project has to be executed within a very uh, stipulated time frame and then functionality delivered in increments high performance not required and low technical risks and system can be modularized and can be broken down into multiple non overlapping components so i think you are getting this idea what is a rad model thanks for watching this video tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning